another tank full of syrup. We spent that tank yesterday on a yard. Pails are empty. As I stand here in the rain, the sleet, the cold, and the wind, the countryside is still white. we've been hinging on this spring are these pails. Probably the most efficient way of getting served down into the colonies when it's cold is slapping on the pail on top. And I use these pails with the stainless steel screen. It seems to be the best option of all the pails that I have. You have the holes punched in or whatever and whichever way that screen is put in it's these small pails the stainless steel screen that seems to be providing the most usefulness and availability of that surfing the colony. These pails are a gallon and they're smaller than the two and a half gallon so the daytime heating, nighttime cooling doesn't siphon the syrup out you know as the suction changes. Drip, drip, drip is the problem with the bigger pails. The smaller ones don't do that as much or if they do it's very little and the bees can clean that mess up. The screen just makes things much more accessible to them, I find, and they can congregate underneath in more of an orderly fashion. So it seems to be a neat little trick. I'm, I don't know why, I should just fill them right up as I put them on, but we put on half a pail, a three-quarter pail, because I don't like wasting syrup. I keep anticipating we'd be getting into better weather here, but going around again, put another three-quarter pail on. Syrup's not cheap this year. But neither is these, so we're doing everything we can to reinforce our stock. Which means another tank load going out. I doubt they'll be able to go out today. We will get stuck if we try, so we're not even going to try. So we'll probably feed the hives inside. But there's so many things we need to do. Not only do we need to put patties on and the syrup on, we got to get this medication out. Maybe we should have started yesterday, but... Things are adding up against us here, even though our hives appear to be in good shape. If too many things are going against us, we need sunshine. This is ridiculous. Doing everything we can. Trying to decide whether or not I should top these pails up. Because if they are going to go out, possibly Tuesday, Wednesday, I don't want to have to take full pails off. It just makes so much work. There's syrup in some of these pails. These are the fives. So that row is not taking syrup. And there's this row. hives that are taking the syrup, they still have a little bit left in there, so maybe I'll just get them to clean it up. That's the fives. The sixes are taking the syrup. There's still, still syrup in these pails. <clears throat> maybe I'll just leave them, let them clean it all up. Five degrees in the shed right now. So it's not going to be any trouble to keep it cool in here. It's like zero degrees outside and raining. Well, ice pellets. Oh, this one has no access. Let me fix that. at the corner. 
corners. Yeah, I think I'll just leave these girls alone. Much easier, even that one has a little bit of syrup in it. Not a lot though. Switch this pail. It's the one that's not taking it. Oh, I can't find one. Where did I run into that rule? There, I'll just take this one. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll just go around and shift pails around. That might make better use of my time. It just poured rain here, outright thunderstorm. And it feels like spring. Look at that smell to the air. Zapping the snow, leaving puddles. Oh, the air feels good. Ah, where's that plug? There it is. Washing off the hives. It's one thing about a rain. Look at how much the snow shrunk. Nice to get that out of here. What are you calling for? Another 25 centimeters? Maybe it'll come as rain. Booter. Holding their own. Nothing like getting a wet foot. I'll dry off my socks now. Covering three frames. One, two, three. A hive like that. And I'll just, you know, because if they can cover two sides of a frame and maybe add another frame up between the other two faces, if we can get someone like two brood frames going in there, flip that once, second, third time into growth, we'll make honey on that yet. Not going to write them off. Especially not this year. Whoa, they're sure kicking out the wax paper. This is what I want to see though. Look at the girth of that. They have a lot of mess to clean up. Some of that being my patty. Not much though. Mostly wax paper down there. Boy, talk about integrity. Yep. 
empty, empty. We are not out of the woods yet, but we have a long road ahead of us.